Hello and welcome, I am Aruba. thank you for joining me. Let us begin a new series in EU4. So as you may have known from watching the Granada Challenge, the final few videos in that series, I've been meaning to, for quite a while, play Austria. So this will be a new series, we're going to call it, um, I, I don't know, some, so right now it's bouncing out of my head, is Austrian uh, Arrogance, because I like my alliteration, and because we're just... We're just, that's what we're going to do. So let's talk about, first, before we dive in, like, why I want to play as Austria. Well, first off, you can see the, uh, I don't think, yeah, you can see Imperial Map Mode. So this, these are the nations that are in the Holy Roman Empire at the start of EU4, in the year 1444. Now, the Holy Roman Empire, as you may know from, like, Crusader Kings 2, is a big, huge empire tier nation. In EU4, it represents more of a series of alliances, um... Think about it like a, a feudal sort of college of cardinals or, uh, you know, it's an electorate. There's one person, one country that gets nominated as the Holy Roman Empire. And he gets a series of bonuses and he can control certain things and, and yada, yada, yada. So each of these countries can become the Holy Roman Empire. At the beginning of the game, Austria is the Holy Roman Empire, which is awesome. But... Um, if you enact enough imperial reforms, you can recreate the Holy Roman Empire and actually turn all of this into one country, which is what I want to do. And the reason I'm calling it Austrian Arrogance is because we're never going to give, give up control of the Holy Roman Empire, and we're going to make everyone join us, and we're going to do it through peace and war, and war, and maybe a little bit more peace. Now, we could choose another country. You know, we could stay in the imperial map mode, and let's look at some of the bigger ones. Um... So, like Bohemia, for instance, we can take a look at some of their ideas. Advisor cost down 10%, Imperial Authority plus 5%, that's pretty cool. Um, Compacta of Prague. Yeah, there's there's a series of ooh, hostile corporation on us, that's interesting. Saxony has some interesting, okay, sim similar ideas, advisor costs are down. Trier, extra missionary, eh. But, um, you know, the one that really just comes to mind, to me, is, is Austria. Because, they, okay, let's talk about why Austria is so, so good at being the Holy Roman Empire. And why they almost always end up staying as the Holy Roman Empire. Austrian ideas. Prestige decay minus 2%. Now, this does not mean that it's 98% of the normal amount of prestige decay. Prestige generally will decay at a base rate of 5% per, um, per month. So, or sorry, is it per month? Is it per month or per year? I think it's per month. Yeah. So it goes down pretty quickly. Actually, no, it must be per year. 5% per month would be insane. Um, but what they end up with is because of the prestige decay minus 2, it's actually a 3% base decay rate, essentially. They also have better relations over time plus 30, which works hand-in-hand -hand with the reduced prestige decay. Because when you're capped out on prestige, better relations over time is increased by 100%. What does better relations over time mean? That is not just positive things, that's also negative things. So when you have aggressive expansion, for instance, at negative 100, the speed at which that aggressive expansion goes away is determined by how quickly your relations over time changes. So better relations over time plus 30 means that it will take less time to make all the bad things go away. And you can also improve relations with other people faster. And just everything is faster, it's better, it's, it's good. Uh, you have increased chance of new air, that's fine. More importantly, Imperial Authority plus 10%, that's awesome. Fort Defense is fine. Um, this one's fine, not a big deal. This is the big one. Diplomatic Reputation plus 5. Wow. Habsburg Dominance. Beta Grant Ali Tu Feri Austria Nubi. Noob. noob. That's right, Noob! <laughs> Edict of Restitution. Sure, sounds fine. And then, of course, Austrian Court. You get Diplomatic Relations plus 2. It just it makes it very easy for you to have lots of relationships, and everyone loves you because you're Austria. You have this bonus plus five diplomatic reputation. If you go the diplomatic route and actually pick up an extra diplo rep from, like, a diplomatic advisor and from an idea group, oh my god, I'm just so excited about it. So we're going to play as Austria. Now, I am going to do something a little bit different, though. We're not going to play with Lucky Nations on. We're not going to play in Iron Man mode. I feel like I've played Portugal twice. I've played... Um, Granada, and I've always had Lucky Nations, and it's just stupid. I hate Lucky Nations. Look at look look at all this crap. National revolt risk minus one, stability cost is down, interest is down. Everything's just they're just it's dumb. They're cheating. I don't like it. So we're gonna play regular, just normal. But to offset it, I suppose we will go with AI difficulty. Um, 
AI difficulty hard. No bonuses, because bonuses are stupid. But um, will at least allow the AI to use its full skill level and react more harshly to me, uh, to my aggression and if I'm vulnerable. So we'll go on AI difficulty hard. So let's get started. Sorry about the five minute intro, but um, I'm excited about Austria. So we, we are the Holy Roman Empire. Yes, Holy Roman Emperor Friedrich, Friedrich III von Habsburg is the emperor. The 49 rulers in the empire give the following to the emperor. I get a bonus 2,450 manpower, I have an extra 24.5 land force limit, and I gain 2.45 prestige per year, which means that we have, um, we're going to gain, we're, we're going to gain quite a bit. Um, you can see there that the the base decay is 5%, minus, three per, minus 2 for Austrian traditions, um, and then decay minus 0.90. What does that mean? Oh, that's the actual... What? Hmm. Makes no sense to me. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. We're getting 1.64 per year. Yeah, it is It is yearly, not monthly. That's That makes more sense. So anyway, we um, so we can check our force limits. We have a massive force limit. It's, considering it's the very beginning of the game and how small we are. Very, very few f naval force limit. We do have... Uh, two galleys and two transports, so we can't protect trade with these or anything, but uh, as far as the trade node goes, actually, I've never actually played over here, so we have the the Wien, the Wine, Wien trade node. Uh, we have 19% uh, of the trade power here. We are automatically collecting trade. We do have two merchants, yes. Where's my other merchant? Apparently we have one in Venice who is probably, yeah, collecting from trade but not from capital, so... It's going to experience a pretty harsh penalty there. But we do have some provincial trade power, so so that's happening. We have our spare diplomats. We have six available diplomatic relations. And I'm assuming that part of that is what? From being the Holy Roman Empire? Holy Roman Emperor? It doesn't say anything about it, but... Uh, the Emperor may take the following diplomatic actions, bestow imperial grace, enforce religious unity, grant electorate, demand unlawful territory. Ah, here we go. Being Emperor gives the following benefits. Spy offense plus five, diplomatic uh, po possible advisors plus one, diplomatic relations plus two, and leaders without upkeep plus one. So now let's talk about the electors page. So this shows the electors in the Holy Roman Empire. We've got Trier, Saxony, the Palatinate, Mainz, Cologne, Brandenburg, and Bohemia. They are all electors in the Holy Roman Empire. They would currently support the ruler of Austria as emperor should the current one die. They are rating us at 157 points when evaluating who to vote for. The closest rival of us to us is Savoy, who they currently rate at 120. So we want to keep high, high diplomatic relations with our these people. Like We want to improve relations with them quickly. We also want to have high diplomatic reputation and keep our legitimacy high, and ideally keep our prestige high. Um, they're all voting for me. There were 51. That These numbers here, the 37, 46, 51, tells us that we are 51 points ahead of the second place person. So notice how we're at 171, and the next lower rank is 120. The difference is, 100, is 51. Makes it very easy to see how you're doing and like who to work on. So I'd probably want to work on Bohemia first, since they're the closest to the next person. Um, these are the 49 princes, right? So princes do what? They're a member. They oppose the call for Reich's reform due to reasons. So it'll be interesting to see what we can do this. There's not enough support in the diet for reform, with nine being for it and 40 being against it. There are nine princes for the reform. So those are the people that actually want it. There are 40 princes against it. We could individually look at these things and see, like, why they don't like it, you know? Economical power, minus 4.8, so I guess they feel like they are too strong or something. I'm not Latin. Yeah, whatever. So we just need to... I believe you just have to have a majority. Reform the Empire to a more centralized model. The Emperor gets build cost, minus 2. An extra one yearly prestige. Tech cost goes down. And, I mean, everyone improves from it, really. Gives Cassus Belli on non-members holding Imperial territory. So it allows us to take back the land that we should have. Okay, so... Um, hmm, I think the very first thing I'm going to do is start improving relations with Bohemia. We could also... 
um, do like alliances and stuff with them. But we'll, we'll worry about that soon. Let's check out some of the Emperor actions. Grant Electorate. Granting Electorate allows them to vote on who should be the Emperor in the Empire. So if we, if we lose an Elector for some reason, we can have an extra one. I, I believe you can only have seven, yes. Number of Electors is equal to or more than seven, so you can't have more. You can't create more. Has no non-core province that is part of the Empire. Demand that demand the return of unlawful territory to the Empire. And bestow Imperial Grace. This will greatly improve our relations at the cost of Imperial Authority. Do you wish to bestow Imperial Grace upon Bohemia? This will cost us one Imperial Authority, but greatly improve our relations. Okay. So, let's read up on Imperial Authority. This is video, we may not even let any time pass because we're just getting prepared to play as the Emperor. Imperial Authority represents the amount of control the Emperor exerts over the Princes of the Empire. Authority is needed to enact reform decisions within the Holy Roman Empire. It's gained by honoring the calls of members. It's gained by winning defensive wars against foreign powers. It's gained by member states converting to the true faith. It's gained by liberating member states, forcing non-members to release a member vassal, Okay, provinces joining the empire, successive emperors from the same country increases authority. It's lost by dishonoring the call, provinces leaving the empire, and member states converting to a false religion. There's peace internally in the empire, so the imperial authority increases by 0 .08 every month. Not very much, really. I mean, 0 .08 times 12, it's basically one per year. So it's going to take a while. we got to get like up to 100%, I believe, for... Probably not all the way up to 100%. Um, I believe the Imperial Authority affects their... Is that how it works? It may be that you need to have 100%. Ah, we'll find out soon. Yeah, we're not going imp to bestow Imperial Grace to Bohemia, but we will improve relations with them, um, at the very least. And let's go with uh, Brandenburg as well. And rather than do alliances with all the people who are already part of the Holy Roman Empire, it might make more sense for me to to try to just get more people to join us. Um, you know, like, Hungary is Catholic. I am Catholic. You should totally, like, join our empire. Bro, come on. Demand unlawful territory. Has no non so we can't do that. And to offer them to join, I know there's a button. Is it a button? Actually, I don't really know. <laughs> I've never played as Austria before. I don't know if you're supposed to like ask them to join, um, or if you are supposed to, like, they join on their own. We shall find out. Let's let the game go a bit. First off, we have how much income? 2.85, not very much. I'm going to lower maintenance right now, because we don't need to have a fully armed army. Um, our revolt risk is currently zero, which is great. Uh, we do make 14 gold a month overall. And as far as advisors go, I think if we can find... Please, please, please give me a diplomatic reputation guy. Oh, damn, he's level two. Damn, damn. Can we really afford to spend four gold a month on a diplomatic rep guy? I feel like that's just the way to go, though. Why are you showing me all these, like, level 2s and 3s already? It's the beginning of the game, damn it. Mm. Alright, well, we need to have a guy, so let's go with this guy. Uh, we're going to go with the spy offense guy. I'm not going with level 2 yet. It's just too much. And we'll just go with that guy. Level 1 of everything so that we get more points. Um, we can have two available leaders. We're getting 9 Dippo power per month. We're 251. No legal heir, so we need to get some royal marriages. And then we start off at 333 Tech. No ideas. Of course. And our current mission is... We can either spread our culture to Sundgau. Securing the Imperial Border. French lands are both wealthy and populous. Whoever controls these is a threat to the Empire. We must help defend the Imperial Frontier by strengthening our relationship with Burgundy. Surprisingly, that's what I wanted to do anyway. So... Mission succeeds when the following criteria are met. Austria has a royal marriage and Burgundy's opinion is at least 100. Effect is we gain 50 admin power. Form an alliance with Württemberg. We need more. We need to form more alliances. Um, that one actually gives prestige as well. But I think that this one's going to happen like right away. What is Burgundy's opinion of me anyway? Oh, Burgundy. I'm sorry. 
Bohemias, who I'm improving relations with. All right. So we would have to work on Burgundy. Well, let's form an alliance with Württemberg first. Who's Württemberg? Württemberg. Württemberg, where are you? Okay, so you're like this tiny little guy. Why would we want to do an alliance with you? Uh, they are threatened. It is already part of the Holy Roman Empire, so they're not really like like a subject nation or anything, but they are part of the nation. Why would we want an alliance with such a weak little person? Wurttemberg's not even a, like a voter. They don't vote, do they? No. I guess the only reason I'd consider doing it is just because I want the diplomatic power and the prestige. Ah, eh, what the hell, let's just do it. We have plenty of relationships available. And, uh... We'll bring this guy back because it won't take him very long. And, uh, look at that! We actually managed to let four days pass. Amazing. Wurttemberg, I want to offer you something. I've forgotten already. An alliance, Wurttemberg. Here's an alliance. Please say yes. Alright, so an alliance from the Pal Palatinate. Ooh, uh, Venice is currently the papal controller, by the way. Um, we do have one guy, von Hatzfeld. And we should hopefully gain... Wow, yeah, we're getting 10.6 papal influence, so we might be able to get somebody else. Trier. Um, Trier is an elector. Now we have two people who are not supporting us. This should change, I think, in the next month. So these people are actually the ones that we need to look at. So they must have just allied with those people. Um, Trier being a elector, I think the answer is yes, we accept. The Palatinate, I think, is also an elector. So yes, we're going to accept. Just to keep, we're not going to lose. I am not going to lose this position that we're in. So, all right, let's finish this mission. And then let's take on the securing the border. Prove relations with Salzburg, three prestige. Yeah, I think we're going to secure the border. Royal marriage with Burgundy. That sounds good. Burgundy, how about you come join the Holy Roman Empire, please? Competing great power, that's bullshit. Need a diplomat, we can do a royal marriage and... Our army has arrived, that's great. An alliance offer from Cologne. Cologne is an elector. We accept. Um, the problem is that if you lose your position as the emperor, then it gets really nasty quick, because you're way over your diplomatic relations limit. Alright, Burgundy, we need an alliance. Uh, royal marriage, please. Now they will accept an alliance, that's great. Can I, like, would you please, pretty please, join the emperor empire? Can I just, like, talk to you? It's not part. This is part. Okay. Individual... Okay, so it's like individual provinces that are part or not part of the Empire. That is interesting. I guess we'll figure it out soon. Pretty please. Alliance offer from Baden. Baden, 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 Baden. Baden, I'm sorry. Where do you live, Baden? How big are you? Baden is just a two-little province guy. He is part of the, uh, part of the Empire. But, um... I can't, I just... I can't do it. They would actually immediately accept vassalization, that's interesting. I'm sorry, Baden. Uh, we'll have to deal with you later. You're too tiny. Meanwhile, um... Do we have any other real relationships? Like, we could consider maybe... Hey, do you want to become a vassal? <laughs> he can't enter into a royal marriage. Like Salzburg, like we should just eat them. But I care more about expanding the borders and getting more people into the empire. And the lines offer from Burgundy, I was, I was thinking the same thing. And in order to achieve this mission, we need to get their opinion up to 100. So, we want to improve relations as soon as possible. Royal marriage from Wurttemberg, that's one of our current relationships, yes. Wurttemberg, yep. Sounds fine. So it's costing us legitimacy at the moment, but we'll get it back. The other great thing is that because we uh, 
No, actually, sorry, we're not the pal. We are not the uh, Curio controller yet. But when we are, we're going to be able to do great things. So, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope that you are enjoying this series. If you want to help support me, um, do feel free to click the like button just so that this very first video in the series gets some support. It does help out quite a bit with search rankings and things like that. So, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you again soon.